I'm David Guerra, and I love Poopy Beach. Yeah. <laughs> Are we recording? We're recording. We're oh, going. Wow. You quick. Quick, quick, quick. Uh. How you doing? I'm very good. I'm very, good. I'm very happy. You know, t yesterday was the Grammy um, nomination. Five Grammy nominations. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm Run me so through happy. like what went through your mind when you found out that you were getting all five. Really, I was so not expecting this. You know, I was really really happy of course for myself you know but also for the my community you know like the dance music community and the DJs I'm trying to you know have this music to cross over more and for me it doesn't matter if you hip-hop if you dance yeah if, if you rock it's about good music you know and that's what what we've done with my album with the Black Eyed Peas album trying to um, I don't know how you say it, but you know um, like you're just transitioning. Out of the box, you know. Yeah, and you're transitioning house music to people that maybe didn't listen to house music before. Exactly, and so I'm still like, I still have my crazy beats yeah. because I, because I mix this um, with some urban culture uh, vocally. You know, like like we st we started this uh, with Kelly Rowland and One Left Takes Over, and then I worked mm -hmm. with Will I Am on the Black Eyed Peas album, and I got a feeling. Mm -hmm. We were like, we got something there, it's different, you know. It was so refreshing for him, but also for me, because, you know, yeah. we're so different. We come from different backgrounds, so our idea, ideas together is like one plus one is three, you know. How was that so being exciting. in the studio with, like, Will I Am? Did your heads just kind of, like you just said, so many ideas floating exactly. around? Exactly. <laughs> him plus me is crazy. And awesome. it's so funny, because we, we worked on, on the Black Eyed Peas album, we worked on my album, and... Yeah. It was so good. But so it was just feeling so good when we our both of our albums were finished and we're like, ah, oh. <laughs> we want more. So we kept on making music even though we right. didn't even know why, you know. So, and I thought that was so amazing for somebody like like him. They sell millions and millions of albums and these guys still want to hang out with me just to have fun. Well, of course they do because they know that you are, you know, not only a famous producer, famous DJ, worldwide. So, you know, I think they're looking at it as like they travel worldwide, so why not collaborate with David Guetta? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's, it's also sometimes it's just about having fun. Yeah. And that's what we do as well. Yeah. You know, and, and it's like Akon, we met, uh, we were performing together uh, in a festival uh, in England and... Um, I, I, f I got off stage and he's like, wait for me, I love your music, you know. So he went, he did his song and, and we're like, man, we should work together. So I, so I said, listen, let's not wait. Let's it's do it now. So we went to the studio, you know, that very same night. No way. Yeah, and we met Sexy Chicken one night. You, know, you did not. I oh promise. <laughs> but, but, but it's like... And now that's a hit song on the radio and yeah, everybody knows Platinum it. Yeah, we in America. It's crazy. I'm oh. so happy about it. So my album was all about this for me, but also for all the artists that are there because they're all huge artists. Um, and they came with me. Most of the time the deal was like they, they would ask me to produce tracks for their right. albums and in return I would, I would ask them to feature on my album. So, I see. So, so for them, out. it was not like... Okay, this has to be my main single, so there's a lot of pressure. It was they came like with me just to have fun. Carefree. And and that's probably why the album is so successful because, oh my gosh. you know, we were just, you know, like in a play, kids in a playground, you know. Yeah. And this is how we made this album. Well, I'm such a big fan of yours. I actually saw you in Ibiza. Wow. Ibiza. I guess that's how Europeans say it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the first time I ever saw you. Um, we flew in from Barcelona. Uh, was was it at Pacha? At Pacha, okay. last summer. Oh, oh my God, it was crazy. My first uh, experience in Ibiza and just like seeing you there. It's it was something, just, yeah. Oh my God, just the crowd. It's crazy that you can just drop your beat for like Love is Gone and everybody, the whole entire place knows that that song is about yeah. to hit, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you witnessed it. Yeah, it's, it's not many people it, I think it, get the experience to see Ibiza. Yeah, it's 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 really something. It, it's the mecca of, of dance music, really. It really is. Now, how the transition from like performing in uh, Europe as opposed to performing in the U.S. Do you prefer one or the other? Is it a different vibe? It's a very different vibe. Where um, for many years, uh, lots of 
um, house music DJs in America were complaining, you know, they were like, oh, David, you're so lucky, because in Europe, the scene is so big, and mm -hmm. hey, it's not, and, and to be honest, right now, for me, it's even more exciting to play in America. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm gonna tell you why, because it's such a new phenomenon here. Everything was born in America, but it stayed so underground for many years. And right now, people are so excited about that sound yeah. that for me, I don't know, because I've been really big in Europe for a long time. Right. So me playing there, yes, okay, it's a big <laughs> thing, but people, they saw me many times, you know, so they're like, yeah, David Geller yeah, is huge, you know, cool, okay, but here it's like, Oh, you know, this new artist, it's so good to be a new guy, well, you know, to be the new guy. The electric so daisy carnival at the Coliseum, 100,000 people, yes. you know, you're the headliner. Nah, it's for everybody. Everybody it's understand what is going on. It's crossing, like, the, it's crossing the, the house, people that like house music, and it's also the people that like top 40 and rap, and so it's like now, exactly. those people that didn't maybe know about you, now know of you. Yeah, and it's like, everybody's together. Oh party, 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 party. I love, and that's what, <laughs> okay, I have to tell you something, and I don't know if this is going to come out the right way, okay? But have you ever heard the term, like, poopy beats for house music? <laughs> no. Okay. Because I think me and my friends made up this this term for house music. Well, have you heard of like a dirty beat or a, sti yeah, of a stinky course. beat? Okay. Of course. So poopy beat is kind of just like that because when you're what, when you're rocking out to house music, as soon as the beat drops, what face do we all make? <laughs> we all go, oh my god, and it's so stinky, <laughs> right? <laughs> So there you go, you have to bring back That's Poopy right. Beats. Poopy Beats. Poopy Beats. Can you say it to the camera and say, I am David Guetta and I love Poopy Beats? I'm David Guetta and I love Poopy Beats. Yes, I can see you, see you, see you. Cause every girl here wanna be you. Oh, she's a diva, diva. I feel the same and I wanna meet her.